but this week I'm going to show you how to use the text tool in Photopea. So as always we start with a new project and you choose from print and A4 just like every other week. You can name this and I'm going to call it text and then you create. So there we have our page as normal. So the tool we're going to use today is the text tool and it's down here with a big T for text. And notice now I have a background with nothing on it. If I click on here with the text tool, I have a small box. I'm going to type um, a word and I'm going to type in mouse because I'm using that today. And if you look over here now, we've got a text layer that says mouse. This is really small, I can't see it. So I'm going to click over here where it says T, double click. It's highlighted that text and I can change the size now and make it bigger. Now I might want that to be even bigger than that size there. That's 150 uh, pixels. So if I change that to 200 and say tick, yes, it should have gone a little bit bigger. What else can we do with this mouse? Well, we can then double click again. The colour is here in this box, just like before when you've been choosing colours, different spectrums of colour. And remember, you've got to say OK for the colour change. Now, if I click on that now, you can see it's changed colour. What you're going to do today is type in different words to do with things that are in your room. Let me just do one more just to go over that again. So a new text tool, click here and if you look over in the text layer, text layer 2, it's a separate layer, it's a separate thing. So I'm going to type in computer. So there it is. Click on that now. It's told me that that's the word I've typed in. Double click on that, it's highlighted it. I can change it, change the colour, and I can change the size. I can make it smaller, I can make it bigger here by. Let's try 400, see how big that goes. Whoops, I've gone ahead of myself a little bit. Let's say OK for the colour. Oh, it's done that as well. Tick, yes. Now then, that's gone off the page. That's not a problem. But each of these layers, these text layers are separate, but you need to move them around. How do you move them? Well, you can't move them when you're on this text layer. You'll have to choose a different tool to move them. And guess what it's called? It's called the Move tool. Okay, here it is. I don't think it tells me when I highlight it, but okay. The Move tool, here it is. Now, I can't actually see what I'm doing properly with these. So what I need to do is show the transform tools there, look, on the top corner. And now it gives me the ability to move that around. If I hold the shift key, which is an upward facing arrow on my keyboard, if I hold that down and move that, it keeps the font, the text, um, as it is and it doesn't distort it. If I don't do that, as you can see, it changes it and moves it all around and all goes a bit weird. That's something to play around with. So I say no to that, it goes back to where it was. Hold the key, it doesn't move. Leave go, then leave go of the key, it stays the same. So you've got an option to move your words about. You can also, if you want to, just say OK for that. If I want to click the mouse one now, I can't, unless I auto-select. So that's an option to auto-select. If you don't want to do that, if you've got lots of words, it could get confusing. If you uncheck that box now, you just go over to the layers. So go back to the computer, back to the mouse. Back to the, choose whichever one you want that way, okay? Let's go to the mouse, which we're on. Another thing you can do is move it around. 
and put it wherever you like. Okay, so you can move it and change the angles. There are other ways to do that, but I think that's the more simple way to sort of show you today. So have a go at that. And when you're done, you need to save it. So I'll go through the saving process again. File. And remember, save as, saves it as a Photoshop file. Now that's quite important, actually. If you wanted to save this and keep all of these layers, you can save this as a PSD, a Photoshop style file that will allow you to keep all those layers and, then, and when you open it up again those layers will be there and you'll be able to move it all around. But for the purpose of showing us what you've done and putting it into your PowerPoint you're going to need to export it as a JPEG. So be aware that if you're, put it, if you're saving this to put it in your PowerPoint, save it as a JPEG, but if you want to save this document and carry on working on it at another time and adjust it, save it as a PSD, a Photoshop file. I'm going to do a JPEG for today. Okay, and then save. Where am I going to save it? I'm going to save it on my desktop. And there I have it, it's saved. So have some fun with that today and uh, good luck. <laughs>